Hey skiers, it's Emily from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. In front of me, I have the Blizzard Shiva 11. Uh, this is a new ski for 2024 season and it is the widest in the Shiva series. It has been a very successful series of skis for many years. Um, and Blizzard decided that for this season, they were going to take a different approach and utilize new technology and incorporate just a more free ride modern shape. The ski does a fantastic job at balancing dampness and stability with energetic responsiveness and maneuverability. It's geared towards advanced level skiers who are looking for a hard charging big mountain powder ski um, that is also really maneuverable and playful and just kind of blends all the qualities together that you want in an all mountain free ride ski. For construction, we're getting the same construction as the Rustler line on the men's side of things. And that features a true blend wood core, which utilizes different densities of wood throughout the length of the ski. So we're getting a mix of beech, polonia and poplar wood stringers and they're positioned specifically throughout to fine tune the flex pattern from tip to tail. So underfoot where you want just a little bit more power and stability you're getting the beach wood stringers which are the densest and then in the tip and tail you're getting a mix of poplar and polonia wood stringers and that gives the tip and tail just a little bit more maneuverability and responsiveness and uh, just really allows for a very intuitive, consistent uh, feel throughout. Um, and despite the, the different densities that are utilized throughout the length of the ski, uh, it just makes for a really intuitive feel in this ski, which is really impressive. We're also getting uh, Blizzard's Fluxform technology, which utilizes two sections of Titanol in a fork frame. Uh, it's positioned so that they, th the pieces of metal go out in a fork-like shape. Um, so there are like two prongs along the edges of the ski. And then they taper off towards the tip and tail so they don't connect um, and round through the tip and tail. And that is really impressive and can is very noticeable in the performance because these skis all have really, really impressive edge grip and you can really get them high on edge and really grip the snow and feel confident and reliable. And then in the tip and tail, unencumbered by metal, it lowers the swing weight by a lot and it keeps it really maneuverable and gives it that energetic, playful feel, which if it was just full metal throughout, it would definitely uh, be less responsive. Um, underfoot, it's a little different, the use of the uh, flux form technology from the men's side because they are getting a, a section, full width section of metal underfoot, whereas in the Shiva series, they use fiberglass instead. Um, we're also getting Blizzard's women-specific design, so it's just uh, engineered to cater better to women and just a little bit more responsive and maneuverable and agile. For shape, we are getting a lower, longer ro rocker profile, excuse me, from, from last year, um, which just goes hand in hand with their goal to make it more of a free ride modern shape. So quite a bit of rocker in the tip and tail, uh, really great for flotation, really great for smooth turn initiation and maneuverability. Um, we're also getting a, a difference from last year is the slightly more squared off tip shape. Um, which is nice and also enhances the, the smoother turn initiation and really allows you to bend and flex uh, the front of the ski in a, in a, in a great, aggressive, strong manner um, and have it be just have, get that really powerful rebound and responsiveness. And just again, the, the flotation is really impressive in this ski. Um, which, speaking of which, the waist width, we're getting 112 millimeters underfoot. So definitely pretty wide. Um, I would say this would be a great dedicated powder ski. If you do, if you do love, live somewhere with a lot of snow, it could be a daily driver, but um, 
just definitely a wider bodied ski. If you're looking for a ski that performs similarly, but is more catered to on-piece performance, the Shiva 9 is great for that and features the most amount of metal to adhere to that. And then the Shiva 10 is 102 millimeters underfoot. So it's, it's versatile, it's wider than the, the Shiva 9, but um, jumping it up to the 11 would just give you better soft snow performance and obviously much better float. And this is the 174 uh, centimeter length and it generates a 17 and a half meter turn radius. So definitely longer, wider shaped turns, uh, point it down the fall line and just opening up your turns. They really, really perform at a high level. Um, and going at top speed too, they're really damp and stable and smooth throughout. So I absolutely loved the ski from this year, not to mention they are very pretty. This, the graphics I really, really loved. So um, I would say it's definitely for advanced to expert level skiers who want a wider bodied all mountain powder ski with a free ride shape and just a high level of performance. So I really encourage you to check out the Blizzard Shiva 11 on SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there.